very good morning to everybody for this mpa tool that you know session the first class see this is mpa tool and uh, there are 22 units before uh, i start one more point which i want to highlight is that see uh, during the again this is a repetition only it is for your uh, good uh, this thing only i was seeing a lot of response uh, the same i found that still in spite of getting guidelines people are not writing enrollment number and name properly with the result of which we have to waste a lot of time and many people many people are writing properly but some very few people are not writing their enrollment number properly name properly do you simply write your enrollment number our you know just one two three seven four like that don't do any you know invention or creativity while writing your enrollment number or something because you, when you are writing three if you put a cross it will become eight when you put a six your artificial way or creativity if you put that hook like this it will become zero write properly don't use any italic or greek greek or chinese word or whatever is there I, because why i am telling i found it very difficult sometimes you know to write the name also capital letter single you know very simple english you know at least you write your name properly because it will be uploaded without enrollment number and name it will not come in the site and again and again, I am just telling you because even recently also I have seen that not all, many people are writing properly, there is no problem. Write your enrollment number clearly, name in capital clearly, which we can read. Another aspect is that there is no telephone, mobile number you are writing in the response sheet or, you know, covering letter. So I cannot contact you also. I used to contact such, you know, whenever I, you know, uh, I was having doubt, I used to contact uh, their uh, house uh, and i used to ask their name but in some cases there is no mobile number also so write your enrollment number name then people are not leaving in left margin we are unable to see the question number and you know we have to just you know, pull that like this you know please leave left margin properly so that you know uh, question number everything you have to put uh, properly then Somebody was asking, you know, there is there due to pandemic uh, this thing, whether uh, some uh, liberal mark will be there? No, I don't think any liberal mark will be there. And you know that uh, even exam is going on; it is uh, offline only because you are getting st study materials, and uh, don't don't expect a liberal mark. Eh? Uh, you have to write properly, then only you will get mark. This is the thing which I want to communicate because I saw in once of somebody was asking, is there any liberal mark? No liberal mark, please. Because you are getting course material, you have to read. You are getting plenty of time and, uh, you know, you have to give the answer only five questions. Okay. Now, another thing. In, in question paper, proper instruction is given. Read the instruction properly. According to marks, you have to write. For getting 20 marks, usually it is not necessary to write 40 pages, 60 pages. 20 marks, one question, it is not necessary to write 40. That is course coverage, the contents coverage is more essential. Okay. Rather than pay total weight of the response assignment or, you know, the pages. Number of pages will be there. I am not telling like that. But limit and course contents coverage is more essential. Okay, then similarly, some people have written five pages total. So if you don't expect five, each page will get 20, page, 20 marks. That is 100 marks, not total. If somebody is writing only five pages, don't expect that he will get 100, 100 marks. One page, 20 marks, you will not get. According to marks, you have to write. According to words, you know, always you have to. Uh, this only, you know, why I am telling this type of things will help you. Then, Sometimes when, when you are writing your uh, enrollment number, in between you are leaving. 
uh, suppose you know zero uh, suppose five six uh, zero 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 then two six one zero you are omitting somebody somebody so what happen it will computer will not take that ten digit something should be there you know so I verify properly the roll number and write it fully that you know don't omit any zero but computer will not take that then your mark won't be you know updated or whatever is there no okay uh, this type of things uh, kindly keep in mind uh, that i was telling enrollment number once again name properly left margin properly according to marks you have to write uh, the number of pages everything i already told you earlier also i told you so i don't want to repeat there will not be any liberal marks okay and uh, you have to write properly according to the question then only you will get the mark because uh, there is a reason for telling this okay i just uh, after this i will tell you mobile number uh, guidelines you study uh, read properly yeah i think you are uh, you know uh, this thing we have already already circulated out right assignment and other thing and we'll don't leave any zero why i told the liberal mark you know somebody was telling that uh, you know another because of covid situation something you know is there any ah uh, one more thing is somebody gets less suppose 40 or 50 or mark like that what is the pass mark and uh, 50 i uh, suppose 40 or 50 you know what the students will th uh, is thinking that you know uh, casually they must have you know uh, you know put the signature uh, sorry marks or something like that that's why i have got less casual evaluation will not be there proper evaluation will be there <laughs> okay remember this no because the man who is doing the evaluation he is a professional highly qualified person so if somebody is getting less or whatever is there it is the it is not the mistake of evaluators that is only 1% 2% something like that okay so you have to write then only you will get mark this is the thing which i want to communicate to you so if you want if you want to take uh, this suggestion welcome otherwise you can ignore the also okay now mpa 12 coming to mpa 12 administrative theory and uh, about the public administration we are talking because this is a very very big uh, subject okay see who uh, is known as the father of you now listen to me carefully okay we are starting so for what we did this is only for general information many things are not applicable to you 90 90% is not applicable to you 99% is not applicable to you but who is there it is applicable to them okay now uh, now let me now we are starting this uh, who is known as the father of public administration i am not telling from the book eh? just now okay so understand many things i am not telling from the books okay see woodrow wilson is considered the father of public administration woodrow wilson okay he is considered the father of public administration okay he first formally recognized public administration in an 1887 article entitled the study of public administration okay now who is woodrow wilson woodrow wilson <clears throat> thomas woodrow wilson was an <clears throat> american politician and academic who served as the 28th president of united states of america from 1913 to 1921 okay woodrow wilson defined public administration as a detailed and systematic execution of public law okay public law institution into two separate sectors administration and politics administration and politics this is 
Woodrow Wilson, American president. Okay, foreign president. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, what are the four pillars of uh, public administration? Four pillars. There are four pillars of public administration. That is economy, efficiency, effectiveness, and equity. Four pillars of public administration is economy, efficiency, effectiveness, and equity. Why public administration is important? The importance of public administration as a governmental instrument. Government's most important function is to rule, that is to maintain peace and order as well as protect the lives and the property of its citizens. Okay, it has to ensure that citizens should obey the contract or agreement and also settle their disputes. Okay, now what are the public uh, functions of public administration? On the role of public administration, it will address such areas as sustained economic growth, the promotion of social development, facilitating infrastructure development, and protecting the environment, promoting public-private partnerships, managing development programs, and maintaining a legal framework. Okay. Now, as I told you, public administration as a discipline was born in the United States of America, and that country continues to enrich it even today. We are also, now you know very well that uh, we have got a lot of management institutes, Indian Institute of Management, and many other, even state also, uh, many, many management institutions are there, MBA, all these things, you know, colleges are there, more than 100 MBA colleges are there in Kerala, and so many MBA colleges in India. There are so many IEMs. They are all teaching MBA, man, um, this thing only, uh, administration only, ma management, uh, this thing only. Uh, in addition to this, people are going abroad and taking MS, MBA, whatever is there from Edinburgh, Harvard, a lot of other uh, foreign universities, uh, Oxford or whatever is there, you know, universities also and by way of uh, take, taking this type of degrees. And um, yeah, they, either they're coming to India or they are working there, there itself and they are doing wonderful administration. And uh, world-renowned, uh, big, you know, uh, biggest uh, organizations, you know, are, you know, our Indian origin. They are uh, heading those institutions, okay? So, uh, Public administration plays a vital role to, uh, you know, ensure, uh, you know, smooth uh, administration. Uh, you know, then only the people will be happy because uh, citizens are having a lot of expectation. Now, you see, you just simply imagine what is happening in Afghanistan. Nobody knows. Even yesterday, I think they formed a government temporary or whatever is there. So, what will be the fate of? Uh, lady population because whether the girl student will be able to go to the school after whether there was restriction now we don't know whether they will give freedom to work so many issues are coming in afghanistan okay so what happened these are all public administration you know the administrator has to ensure the you know compliance of this type of social obligations as well now, basic function of administration is planning, organizing, directing, and controlling. Okay. Now, as a process, administration occurs in both public and private organizations. You know very well, private, public administration is also the private administration is also the government administration is also the private companies also uh, very good administration is taking place. Okay. So, it occurs in such diverse institution as setting as a business firm, labor union, religious, charitable organization, educational institution, 
every word this type of things are required okay bitu beka controlling everything is planning controlling monitoring everything is required you know so administration is commonly divided into two types public and private administration okay so public uh, public mean government government department you know government department okay whether it is local self government whether it is secretariat whether it is collectorate or whatever is there then private of course uh, you know reputed private uh, uh, many corporate organizations 60% uh, uh, you know uh, you know employees are more than that you know working in private sector uh, for your kind information that uh, in organization like uh, T- uh, sorry tcs more than 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs private uh, it is a private company 4 lakh to 5 lakhs people are the, the same way infos is 3 to 4 lakhs so they are also providing lot of employment opportunity they are doing best administration otherwise people will not be, you will not be able to retain the staff you know so administration plays a vital role and remember that a professionally qualified person can only do the administration don't think that you are having technical qualification whatever is there and it is not necessary what is administration what is hr some people used to ask you know that you know drawback will come to know automatically without knowing the basic you know the human this thing aspect you know uh, technical persons they cannot understand this type of thing there are many many law implications and many things we have to social security norms everything we have to understand and the organization i am telling you from my experience that i also faced in when i was in the public sector under the central government that you know uh, some chairman managing director they were purely technical sometimes they were not giving adequate importance to hr department so what happened so then union started creating problem and so many they were they were raising demands and many other things you know how can you function how can you have the production uh all these thing how can you satisfy your customers so by having only technical qualification you will not be able to run the organization effective administration is also administration is also required same way technical persons are also equally required okay so now you take the example of isro drdo it is a like an ocean you know very big organization only technical people are working there if there is no administration what will happen there is no you know nobody is there to look after the welfare of the employees what will happen just imagine so same way i also experienced when i was working in drdu that sometimes they were not giving you know adequate importance for uh, 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 this hr only the technical you know scientist and other thing and i am um, just telling you they suffered a lot they some that particular this thing uh, they suffered a lot because basic thing this i am just telling you from a experience whatever qualification or technical qualification or whatever is there but each qualification has got its own importance whether it is your mtech whether it is your ms whatever that you are something else law or whatever each degree or qualification has got its own importance actually unless you know the implication of each and every you know the technical com- persons are competent in technical area and uh, company secretary is concerned with the law matter and uh, chartered accountant is concerned with accountancy that you know maintaining account properly same way procurement material is the duty of the material manager same way the taking care of the human resources is the duty of the hr person i am just telling you one thing you know a technical person when i was handling you know this hr person you know, during night i was, i got a call from delhi ministry to sack nearly 21 people with immediate effect okay i really protested it is against the labor law without giving warning or whatever is there or without showing their uh, any reason we cannot punish anybody but they told me that whatever we say that is the law then i told it is not a law so there are certain procedure we have to adhere to so if you take action against any employee they are all covered under service rules 
so we have to give notice everything so like that you know it happens you know i don't want to tell you what what was the uh, consequence actually so it was because you know told by a very senior scientist distinguished scientist he gave instruction to me to sack and nearly 21 people with the immediate effect 20 uh, they should not come to the factory premises tomorrow tomorrow 6 am on like that you know he took a decision from delhi he conveyed to me uh, when i was working in hyderabad i just objected i told i will not be able to do that so finally you know i i was against you know violating the lay down laws or norms whatever is there so it was purely a central government organization so uh, i found that uh, the things are not going nicely and um, whenever we suggest something they were not they were only relying the technical people sometimes you know that is also not good for the organization anyway uh, because you know or you know these are all connected uh, this thing administration and technical both together they have to work and uh, now it is important to understand the functioning of administration for uh, you know on this lies an understanding of the government actually okay now in this unit we are going to study the what is administration so the word administer is derived from the latin word administri which means to care for or to look after people okay to manage affairs administration may be defined as it is a group activity administration means lot of people are there uh, you know they have to work uh, you know it is a group activity which involves cooperation and coordination for the purpose of achieving desired goals or objectives the uh, in the goals and aims and objective i think last time i already told you there are different between aims and objectives okay you know what is the aims and objectives a p rama killed ravana rama killed ravana don't ask who is ram and who is ravana i am only one showing one example okay so now it is very difficult you know to say anything you know so i am just showing one example okay rama killed ravana the history says that rama's aim aim was to kill ravana aim rama's aim was to kill ravana ravana killed objective achieved that is aim was to kill killed objective achieved so there are lot of aims sometimes you know now we are all studying or something like that we our aim is to get the degree but sometimes you know we will get degree sometimes you know compartment something you know we may uh, someone or two you know the subject we can fail also sometimes so objective will not be achieved sometimes the rocket is going sometimes it is going down also coming to arabian sea also so objectives achieved mean ultimate result that is the thing objective so uh, now broadly speaking the term administration appears to bear at least four different meaning or different senses depending upon the context in which it is used one is administration as a discipline the name of the branch learning or intellectual discipline discipline is very very essential in administration okay so it is a discipline also administration it is an area also it is a branch also but employees they have to maintain proper discipline also intellectual discipline also self discipline also it is not necessary to 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 you know uh, give proper instruction without that also you can do that see we are all are telling you to come at 9 o'clock automatically we will come see i never used to go even one minute late you know it's so off you know it is you know in our within our mind it is there you know self discipline so 
it has to come within rather than enforcing so it is a administration is a separate discipline very difficult task also don't think that it is so easy now as yes, because so many challenges here to will be there in an organization because if it is small organization big organization if it is small organization so some small problem if it is a big organization big problem but as a good administrator we, we have to handle those very 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 comfortably nothing is there to nothing is impossible we can handle smoothly provided we show everything we should handle in a professional way next as a and with the human touch with the human touch okay and uh, as a vocation the type of work trade or profession occupation especially we are talking about administration okay so this is what we are telling different senses depending upon the context in administration one is discipline another is occupation that is work, trade profession occupation especially one that involve knowledge and training in a branch of advanced in learning okay so knowledge and everything is also required to handle this type of thing next as a process so is some total of activities undertaken to implement public policy or policies to produce some services or goods so we have to formulate very good policy for the welfare of the citizen okay to produce at the best services the goods and everything you know then another thing is synonymous words synonym of for word executive see you are uh, sometime you know we, we we used to tell that bush administration manmohan singh administration you know uh, like that you know uh, it is called like modi administration or whatever it is you know so it is also called you know in especially in america uh, bush administration you know clinton administration like that like that so it is the gentleman because uh, we cannot say that in india that is a democratic purely democratic but there it is a presidential form of uh, sometimes government you know so president has got a extraordinary power there okay whereas our indian president is not having that much power because all powers are restricted the uh, council of ministers headed by the prime minister okay so but of course president has got power there is no doubt about it okay so this is the thing now administration is a long slightly pompous word but it has a humble meaning it means to care for or look after people and it is look after people okay now various uh, people you know uh, they give definition what is administration brooks and adam very a definition it is the capacity of administration is the capacity of coordinating many many these are all thing you know you, you can just read one one line each administration one luther billick has written administrate uh, administration has to do with uh, getting things done yes with the accomplishment of defined objectives marks another way administration is determined action taken in pursuit of con uh, conscious purpose it is the systematic ordering of affairs and the calculated use of resources like that some definition some people have given now another aspect herbert simon has given it is a cooperative effort the administration is that is in a common objective with the cooperative effort with the cooperation of each and everybody we can you know do the best administration not that you know one person if he thinks he cannot do that you know it is a collective responsibility to maintain good administration okay administration is also also called as a technology of social relationship technology of social a relation a mutual relationship okay now administration organization and management before we discuss about the meaning definition nature scope and importance of public administration we will try to know what is administration what is organization what is management as these time, uh, terms are often used interchangeably and uh, synonymously say management is different organization is different administration is different okay now according to william kelts administration is the force which lays down the object for which an organization and its management are to strive and the broad policies under which they are to operate they are to operate now 
not from your book what is organization see very carefully this is not from your book this is organization okay carefully listen to this okay see <coughs> this the company secretary is course from that syllabus i am just telling this it is there already in your book but it is very simple but i am just elaborating the thing see organization okay provide provide all aspects of our life endana so organization organization illade function cheyan pattilla okay now organization provide okay adayade noticeable feature through uh, you know throughout it okay provide all aspects of our life society economy as well as our personal lives organizations are the chief form of institution in our society okay now organization a very important function of management can be studied as a structure and also a process adu yam para enda structure ennu okay now organization de pala gunangalum doshangalum okke inde pinne adile importance endana cha it facilitate administration organization it facilitate administration it facilitate growth and diversification it permit optimum use of resources it also stimulate creativity uh, stimulate creativity okay now another thing is that organization encourages synergy that is understanding effect then organization also help transfer and adaptation of technology transfer and adaptation of technology okay now what is the process of organization process of determination of objectives number 1 number 2 identification and grouping of activities endellam cheyanam enna number 3 allotment of duties or or edukkan cheyanda duty or or staff nam allocation of job then developing interpersonal relationship adu administration de duty aanu adhaayathu oral angotte oral ingotte nammude government office kaanalo nobody will cooperate but you give, you see what is happening in local self government uh, you know like uh, prakakala panchayat and other things chairman room is locked and uh, uh, the lady is unable to go inside and some other ritual uh, also it is like that you know one man is going this way another man is going the, this way this is not administration collective responsibility for fulfilling the objectives is required that is called administration okay for flimsy ground uh, we should not disturb the functioning you know our activities that is the thing which i want to communicate then okay see what happen we are all sitting in a seat for which we are being paid by the organization so we have to produce results okay that is the thing it because in government from taxpayer money they are all getting money uh, the salary taxpayer is paying so they have to take extra precaution without you know wasting time and serving the society that is a prerequisite of a administrator or a particular department actually so adaptation of technology when our technology is changing previously you know uh, what what was happening in kerala because there was a lot of problem for while introducing calculator and computer they were against but now without computer now without can you do the online without computer this type of things okay so we have to adapt the system and not only that we are now you see here smart city is the technology techno park is the info park is everything now we are perhaps the second biggest i think we are supplying more manpower in whole india the it sector okay in third place perhaps in kerala okay so we are not adapting the technology what will happen then the engineering college what you are going to teach okay whether it is you know computer science or whatever is the many people are taking that you know 
for it is a employment oriented job so we have to adapt what were technology previously it was analog technology now it is technical uh, sorry uh, digital technology you know all kind of telecommunication everything how a lot of progress is going on you can see everywhere you know so we have to adapt with the technology where you can see that you know previously auto uh, auto rickshaw uh, now electric auto is there electric car is there something is there metro rail is there everything you know where environment uh, this thing you know no problem at all no pollution pollution free everything you know so we have to adapt the technology the administration can only do this type of things you know which one is suitable for the company for the society pollution free environment free or whatever is there okay now identification grouping and allotment of duty i told you integration of activities also the duty of the administration integration you know we have to uh, you know uh, whatever other departments are doing that you know integrate the activities then there are formal organization there are informal organization id illa ningal book le undo pinil undo nu enikku ariyilla yana back ullilikku nokkittle yana uh there are formal organization there is informal organization now formal organization i will not elaborate because i think afterwards it is coming but just to you know brief the thing i will give you if you want more details of course i will be coming afterwards i will explain more brief thing uh, i will tell you what is formal organization formal organization in in every company there is line organization there is functional organization there is line and staff organization there is project management organization there is metric organization hello so formal organization structures are as follow one line organization number 2 functional organization number 3 line and staff organization number 4 project management organization number 5 metric organization simple simple example i am just telling you and more details we want at a later stage we will uh, i think uh, after so many units it will it is coming see line and organization means you know pure line organization means you know sales area accounts okay like that you know human resources that is line okay now e area you know uh, co- corporate uh, this thing and uh, you know sales uh, maintenance uh, research development these are line okay line and staff okay okay then pure line organization okay now it is coming then each line then staff is also rotated we will see there will be divisions of, uh, also uh, there is functional uh, for uh, this thing also project division uh, that division watch division clock division automobile uh, you see you know car division motorcycle division and so many division division accordingly staff is also recruited under them you know that division is also there now another thing is that line and uh, see line and staff organization i am just telling you see personal department line and staff organization finance manager okay personal department finance manager research department plant manager law department these are all department under them lot of staff is also there okay now function and function means i already told you secretarial function by material function uh, sales function research and development section human resource development function like that like that like that okay then another thing project organization see one company is having lot of projects see you take the example of delhi metro take the example of delhi metro under delhi metro there were many metro company see west bengal oh, sorry calcutta chennai metro bangalore metro kochi metro that these are all projects under dmrc delhi metro okay there are all bangalore metro so many so many so many so many i don't want to elaborate that thing but these are all separate separate project project so it is headed by some, but overall it was sridharan or something like that but it is a project based 
the same way you take the example of the largest engineering company in india rathore and dubro they are having lnd they are having lot of project lot of projects in india whether it is highway uh, this thing whether it is airport construction whether it is bridge construction whether it is reactor construction they are separate foreign uh, the thing abroad also saudi arabia iran iraq everything everywhere for their project is each project is headed by somebody so administration is also done by the, that gentleman so uh, there will be a project ha- head and each project that will report to either vice president or president here in the corporate office that is project now project organization now uh, metric organization metric organization means it complete connect so many things in you see metric organization indian oil corporation hindustan petroleum ongc so many activities that is lpg production gas cylinder okay then another thing you know the pipeline uh, so many you know pe- petrol diesel kerosene uh, aeroplane uh, this thing that uh, you know uh, heavy duty whatever is there you know that so many diversified products uh, products are there that is metric organization so many activities then ongc you take that drilling or whatever is there you know digging uh, oil is in from the various parts of the country and other things you know they put many units and many other things okay so multi function that is called a matrix organization okay so more details i will tell later on now i am going to so far i was discussing about formal organization now what is informal organization informal organization informal organization i don't know whether it is there in your book i have not seen that okay informal organization now informal organization informal so far i talked formal organization now informal organization okay informal organization refers to the relationship between the people based not on procedures but on personal attitudes prejudices likes dislikes avaru group undavile adana pinne there always exist informal organization in a formal organization there exist informal organization in a nammada structured organization le informal ait group undo manasayile paraide udaharanam cadu i or group anad ind is another group is bms another group is within the structured organization it is the same way in uh, big organization there is malayali group is there there is uh, tamil group is there, there is, that is informal this thing you know nothing they will not disturb any of this thing but to get it there uh, some they are uh, having uh, affection relationship with the, you know the people who are coming from this like bengali you know where in you know two person because i studied in the year 1985 or something when i was studying in chandigarh chandigarh punjab university uh one book uh, malayalam after a long time in i was uh, i had to take uh, one malayalam book that is classical language so there was one book i selected in that particular sentence i am telling in that book which will be useful to you one, still i remember which i studied in i don't know at 85 or 84 or something uh in punjab university which is one of the best universities in the country chancellor is president of india you know that my ba as well as ma all this thing you know the certificate was signed by president by president because they are the chancellors of the central university there big one of the best uh, you know very good uh, very big uh, university prestige established before independent it they have got uh, up to lahore the university see in that particular book uh, there was one sentence tamil people those who are coming from tamil nadu those who are coming from bangal whenever 
they travel outside their state or outside the country when they meet a bengali meets bengali he will they will speak only in bengali medium tamilans where they are london where it is new zealand where it is some australia tamil meets a tamil he will speak in tamil but airlight when he meets a airlight though he know that he is a malayali he will try to speak in english or some other language he wants to avoid sometimes uh, you know because he he may and he may be thinking that he need some help or something like that i don't know what it is it is a common nature i have seen in bombay and other thing when i was working i have seen that uh, you cannot expect much uh, you know cooperation from our own people sometimes you know uh, that is that type of things are there but, but that is my experience you know so they will not recognize us sometimes you know if they uh, they will not uh, sometimes help us also whereas others will help but sometimes our own people will not help that is also the, but but this two states in that book particularly it is mentioned there will be exemption that tamil and in the meet tamil wherever he is in the world he will speak only in tamil and they have got a lot of affiliation and the same way you can see that you know within the state also people they are speaking their own mother tongue but we sometimes you know what we are doing same way bengali is also wherever they go whether they are in nasa or motorola texas or whatever is there they will speak in bengali only when they meet bengali their culture it is like that okay so they are also a informal group okay now within the company so it is happening now here also there are groups you know so many groups you can see congress also so many other parties also separate 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 groups are there i don't want to elaborate so uh, if they are informal group so uh, so there are uh, you know it is uh, informal uh, features of uh, informal organization it is developed spontaneously and is not established by formal men there there it is not compulsory that we should have such a, automatically it will come then another thing the based on informal authority and inform information uh, there are a lot of i just uh, tell you the benefit of informal organization rather than uh, telling benefit of informal organization one makes more effective and total system number two lightens workload on management number three helps get the work done suppose you know if you want to do something we we tell them please do it that group particular group will do then time to encourage cooperation then fills in gap in a manager's ability you see how we are handling their life of the ability then give satisfaction and stability of working group pay one more thing informal organization there are some setback one they are not they will not change resistant to change they they will not uh, it is not easy to change their attitude number 2 role of conflict will be there sometime then rumor rumor mean communication in informal organization leads to the problem of rumor you know he is doing like that he is going to tell that you know lot of rumors are there no so that will also spoil the situation so this type of things are also the these are all informal organization okay and uh, there are structure i already told you so this i talk more, more details we will talk uh, later on okay so this this is something about uh, some general introduction of the organization i was telling that no management the management is that uh, which leads management is organization there are so many organization structure is there ah uh, in government uh, you see what do i told you know that is a uh, central government state government structure is very 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 you know you see more uh, secretary additional secretary or you know principal secretary whatever is there joint secretary 1 2 3 4 
then deputy secretary one two three four five like that then you know deputy secretary then section officer like the like the layer like structure it is coming same way central government also it is so many departments so many ministries and so many things it is like that one stereotype the structured way they are functioning they cannot throw the jurisdiction everybody is empowered allocation of job is the delegation of powers are the in state government central government they cannot cross the lexman rekha okay now a management that which lead guides and direct organization management that uh, which leads and guide direct an organization for the accomplishment of pre determined objective see what happen an organization suppose one company suppose cochin international airport so we are first airport in the world you know solar this thing you know energy it is functioning so their objective to set up another you know similar plant in somewhere else. so that is the objective of that particular company but with the cooperation of management you know they are executing those this thing you know everything you know they are doing that so management uh, uh, coordinate uh, each and every activities and ultimately organizational objectives are achieved okay so put the, to put the above symbol administration said the uh, goal management strives to attain it and re, uh, organization is the machine of the management organization is the machine okay of the management for the attainment at the ends determined by the uh, administration now some scholars have a different view about the administration and management some scholars in the world according to peter drucker management is associated with the business activity please remember this sentence properly many many personalities they have given various definition of management peter drucker uh, he said uh, management is associated with the business activity which has to show economic performance whereas administration is associated with the non business activities like activities of the government see uh, now okay now about peter drucker i think i already told you on the last class about him who is peter drucker peter ferdinand drucker was an austrian born american management consultant educator and author whose writings contributed to the philosophical and practical foundations of the modern business okay operation he died in the year on 11 11 2005 in california california usa he has written 39 books peter drucker hailed as the father of modern management okay M management formulated a theory he formulated a theory that is still used by all over the world that is he believed that employees ma sorry managers sorry he peter drucker believed that managers should above all else be leaders okay he placed high importance on decentralization knowledge work mbo management by objectives and a process called smart smart s m a r t yes for specific m for measurable a for attainable R for realistic and T for timely. Now uh, he was born in 1909 in Vienna, Austria. Died in California in 2005. He 96th birthday. On that particular day, he died, and he got highest civilian award of United States of America given by our. president of america at that time that is on 96 his 96th birthday that award was also given by such, such a eminent personality that is task oriented that is each manager is given they should 
work as a leader with proper allocation of job and assignment is given and task is given based on task fulfillment uh, they are getting increment promotion everything so all managers are given nowadays you know a group of you know a lot of uh, even bank manager you can see that how many tasks they are having and you know this much uh, money is required that is required okay like that you know it is coming now about a peter drucker management so now another thing is that in other view that administration is associated associated with performing routine things in known settings in accordance with certain things are the management you know, government you know routine thing routine routine, routine. no new invention or whatever is there you know nothing creativity nothing is there you know same similar way village office same thing okay collector of same thing okay but in private it uh, private it, <laughs> it, it cannot be like that you know so of course government is also introducing many new things but still in the traditional way it is going on okay that is also there now yesterday you must have heard that uh, pay commission recommendation you know pay commission recommendation of the state uh, government you know so very wonderful this thing you know it is good but i, I am quite sure that uh, government will not uh, implement those recommendations okay because if recommend if the recommendation is implemented so it is a good recommendation and uh, but you know why it will not be implemented because prolonging the retirement age from 56 to 57 our people will not agree number one number two the tragic thing again i just want to leave because you are all learning uh administration you see something i will not uh, say anything else because baki other recommendation what was but i am telling you a serious matter about a compassionate ground appointment this should we have to put an end i am just telling you we have to put an end because it's going in a wrong way compassionate if somebody dies we have to be got dependent if husband dies wife should get that but you know what is going on here no where in the country such regularity take place and uh, you have i i am just telling you one example that in 1980 1980 when i was working in now iso i only gave the uh, suggestion for implementing uh, employment in com on compassionate ground in our organization there in chandigarh for which i got uh, award and whatever is there so many things you know they implemented also because i found that so many people died either snake biting accident young man and and you know newly married couple so girl you know they they miserable conditions and other things so some relief you have to give we are all they are you know uh, something happening beyond control you know snake bite and uh, uh, same way accident everything you know so we had to take care of their family also because children will be there so we just you know we gave suggestion and uh, i only gave in uh, suggestion actually in our organization and uh, particular unit they implemented uh, at that time it was a public sector undertaking under government of india so gradually now it is isr or no and uh, now what i'm telling when we started that we start please remember this sentence eh? we, we are learning administration why we started that i just prepared a very beautiful uh, project report on that why they should be implemented in the company because if no dependent nobody is there to take care of that family what will happen the children will become orphan or sometimes you know what happened suppose husband wife died two kids are the small kids you know what they where they will go like that you know so many things are there so i like that we implemented many people we just judiciously underline the word judiciously when i was there many people got it 
and but after analyzing and after submitting the report and police report and many other things and postmortem reports everything you know after investigating each and everything then only we used to appoint him or she what or is the in the gun here what happened it is okay it is a social obligation to take care of the family isn't it now here what happened now uh, i think last class 11 eleven yesterday when the mohandas commission gave the suggestion he was also telling the same thing he was a tipping secretary he was chief secretary and he the he told i don't want the chief secretary post here he was uh, offered chief secretary post in kerala he refused balakrishna pillai's uh, daughter's husband okay uh, and uh, and he was the uh, chief secretary because no bur in india this type of combustion and ground appointment is going on how now we tell you what it is see one uh, department husband died in in kerala i am telling you immediately suppose wife this she is having a basic qualification or whatever is there you know she got a job suppose you know sweeper or whatever is there in the hospital whatever is there you know in the health department whatever is there whatever each job is precious eh? and not important also okay so suppose uh, remember husband died wife got job uh, on compassion ground now what happened at that time her child he was only 3 year old 5 year old or something like that so after 10 year or 15 year she is requesting the government i want to quit and you give this job to my son it is highly objectionable we we have to take care of the family you don't want generation by generation it is not binding on government of kerala to help we have given offered the job to her let her work up to 56 years or whatever it is let her get pension or no problem but she is quitting resigning and asking the government to give the job to his son and his son is only 18 or 19 year old and up to his 56 years or whatever is there you know age we to give the job like that in case of tc i don't want to tell you the percentage the maximum is compassion and ground you know what is the problem no please remember we are not against that now uh, chenganu ramelle chenganu ramelle died due to heart attack or whatever is there covid or whatever is there he died whatever is there so but he you know why he will get mla pension the mla pension very comfortable pension till end of her life but you know what our government gave job also to his son as an engineer in kcb so in one family two benefits one is lifelong pension for mother and lifelong job for son also it is not desirable because of the heavy unemployment backlog in kerala so this type of administrative this thing reforms is required because if you are going on recruiting the people on compare back door or compassion ground something then what will happen the qualified people i am not against appointing anybody on compassion ground please remember that but not a double benefit that i am just telling you give over it till end of her or his or whatever is there and uh, you know acha one more thing you will know yesterday i was hearing the news actually i even mohandas was telling in the news husband and wife both of them are employed in state government husband and wife you see this administration i am just telling you which is wrong i am just telling you where is wrong where is correct see husband and wife is working yeah. and both of them are working in state government husband died now wife is already working there already working in kerala wife is asking son 
he that requesting the government to give employment to her son care of his father okay that is mother is already working state government husband died and all uh, benefits uh, she got it and he is requesting the government to provide job to her son also in the state government care of a late husband anyway i will not elaborate thing you think over it whatever is there okay now administration is a determinative function or so we are, we are talk about uh, management we are telling so management should be constructive this thing okay now public administration is the encyclopedia britannica defines public administration okay as yes, an application of a policy of a state through its government public administration therefore refers to that part of administration which pertains to the administrative activities of the government okay now woodrow wilson i already told i don't want to elaborate further then uh, ld white public see everybody you know they gave their version you know different 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 uh, others are there so here ld white he says public administration consists of all those uh, operation having for their purpose of fulfillment see meaning is same only okay now it includes military see military administration very powerful administration now civil affairs okay and uh, sometimes you know special uh, this thing public works are the conservation social security everywhere you know uh, so social security you take the administration gratuity pension it is administration only pension it is administration gratuity gratuity there is a separate fund pf separate fund is there yes a separate fund is there social security so these are all administration organization okay proper uh, separate separate uh, wing is there for this esi very big this thing you know uh, pf hundreds of you know lakhs or lakhs of members are there in pf esi also separate that is a good efficient administration actually esi pf and the social security gratuity also edli that is that is also that is um, controlled by pf okay this type of things are the so it has got separate administration now so the conduct of public affairs in advanced civilization because the employment almost every person so here what we require in order to do the administration qualified skilled highly talented manpower is required to handle allied job in the respective area okay now here gulik public administration is that part of science what wherever important is i will just tell you other way you simply read this you know uh, then what happened uh, here uh, it concerns self primarily with the executive branches okay then pifner administration consists of getting the again same thing rutra sami when administration has to do with the affairs of a state or minor political situation like the municipal or country council district board it is called public administration okay then simon dw smithberg v a thompson public administration learned in common usage the activities of the executive branches of national state and local government government corporations and certain other agencies of a specialized character specifically excluded are judicial and legislative agencies within the government and the non governmental administration now public administration is the action part of the government the means by which the purposes and goals of the government see you now covid situation you see now it is the action part of the government kerala government actually uh, no even when we are talking at that time chief minister is doing the review of uh, covid situation in the state so they to administer whether medicine is there or not and uh, so many other things because kerala is the number one state in the country as to got covid situation is concerned so very 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 serious matter very very and not only that is some development took place uh, in karnataka border yesterday why not two person when they were coming from karnataka to 
Kerala, they put a stamp in, you know, that, you know, uh, when they come back, immediately they have to go on, you know, in quarantine. So public administration is the art and science of management as applied to the face of the state. Different, 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 different persons uh, are given different definitions, okay? Now, uh, so public administration is a broad ranging and amorphous, amorphous, without any clarity, defined shape or form. Or over a visit administration. The state administration, local cell government administration, central government administration, military separated, scientific establishment separated. Administrations are different. The structure is different, actually. Appointment is different, actually. Like that, like that, it is going on. Okay. Now, you uh, take the example of academic universities, all are headed by academicians. Their appointment is the, the you know, uh, administration, everything is in the academic field. You see? It is like that. Whereas scientific field, engineering, or the technical. Okay. Now, um, so it is an amorphous, that is without any clarity, clearly defined shape, administration. Okay. Now here, F.A. Negro and L.G. Negro, according to them, public administration is a cooperative group effort in a public setting. Number two, covers all three branches, executive, Legislative, judiciary, see, our executive, legislative, parliament, judiciary, judicial, judiciary. Last time I already told you. So these are administration only, you know. They are all of them are doing administration. Executive is doing administration. They are issuing many, many, many policies. Legislature is making rules. Sir. Executive is implementing. Judiciary is protecting. If any anomalies are the can go to court. Okay. So these are all inseparable, all, you know, three wings of a particular administration, Indian administration, you know. No. It has got an important role in formulation of public policy, you know very well. Then, parties are also making policy. Okay. Please remember that. Parties are also making policy. Uh, Many, many, sometimes if there is no clarity or whatever is there, they are issuing guidelines. You do accordingly. Okay. Now, not only legislator, not only executive, even court is also issuing instruction. You want to know one important uh, this thing? Right to Information Act. Now, another sexual harassment at the working place. It is by Supreme Court order. Remember this. Court has given very, very, very significant uh, uh, this thing ruling. I don't want to elaborate actually, but we are accordingly we are implementing those. So all these three are part of our beautiful con even constitution of India or administration of India. Okay. So it is closely asso asso associated with the numerous private groups and individual groups or whatever is there now. See, government and uh, it is significant way from private administration. Private administration and the central government organization or state, uh, government organization is different. Private administration is only private uh, commercial purpose, you know, they are running. But remember, private administration also doing wonderful job. You you take the example of, you know, the now the airport. Now it is hand it will be handled by Silveranda, you know, Adani. Now Virinam Port, Adani. So they are also doing a lot of administration. So many, so many things they are doing. Now I will tell you from my experience, Bombay or uh, you know the electricity, electric, electric supply was undertaken by Tata uh, Power and Energy Systems Limited or something like that. And uh, I was there for eight years in Bombay once upon a time, and I have not seen one minute, uh, you know. Electricity interruption. Because you know that a lot of electric train, everything is without electricity, you know what will happen in Bombay, you know very well. So I will they are entering service. Now, whatever whatever in our uh, the word of home, private service, bar uh, by electric the uh, by, uh, air tell, they are all private only, you know. 
so they are doing service to the people only you know so they are all running okay now in some public administration is the non political public bureaucracy operating in a political system De it deals with the ends of the state the sovereign will the public interest and law sovereign will be okay now another thing is the business uh, now it is is the business side of the government and not only government is also good business you know sometimes and as such concerned with the policy execution see i will just tell you public investment board is there for investment board is there so we are generating asking foreign companies to invest in india and for that also we do a policy you know how to make the uh, investment in india what are the license required for that all these things so there is a separate uh, this thing for that a department pab uh, that is public investment board something is there and uh, so over is coming here invest money so for that also separate policy import export policy it is there okay same way this is all administration only okay now regulatory service function regulatory lot of rules are there you know mrtp that uh, monopoly restriction uh, this thing so many acts are there and um, competition act is there competition consumer protection act is there so many so many so many things are there indian tax wealth tax gift tax everything is there no so it is also the duty of the citizen to pay the necessary tax to the government because for the development the activity of a nation you cannot say that i will not pay the uh, what is that wealth tax or uh, panchayat tax or revenue tax or whatever it is you cannot say you don't have any claim you have to pay if you if it is exceeding so and so so and so your income is exceeding so and so you have to pay the tax no nobody and please remember one thing more no exemption you will not get any exemption i will tell you one small interesting thing see what happened when i was selling a char in chandigarh one or two employees huh? due to some reason we could not remit uh, uh, some uh, uh, see for example there was a fire incident at the time we were unable to remit the esi contribution to the government because there was a fire incident complete uh, facility was uh, destroyed in a fire at that time it was 400 crores or 500 crores something like that you know but we could not remit the esi contribution of employee but we didn't terminate anybody people were were they were sitting in the house and getting salary but uh, the employer contribution was not remitted to esi afterwards we got a legal notice from esi commissioner delhi that uh, with the penalty year to you had to um, pay the money to the treasury whatever is the esi corporation of india so i i was handling this i wrote a letter that uh, kindly exempt uh, because it is a government of india this thing and uh, due to fire it happened like this and uh, you know uh, some request you know uh, waiving of payment of employer contribution to esi corporation of india you know what he asked us, did you get salary yes okay after fire incident also you got salary na no? if salary is there direction is made isn't it the deduction is made then uh, it is to be deposited within the rule stipulated period so we cannot and please remember they don't have at this i want to tell you this is called administration they don't have any power to waive off any dues which is payable to the government please remember they don't have any right even commissioner because something is understand this what i'm telling if anything is due to the government okay either in the uh, say state government or central government whatever it is i am talking about this even the commissioner who is not having the power even it will go to minister government everything it they will not approve take it for me any amount payable to the government there will not be any pay off it will be recovered it will be recovered no no way off 
unless in the declared policy that is a different thing they, because i will tell you declared policy what it is during pandemic uh, period government of india declared that esi uh, pf contribution employee share employer share can be reduced employee share can be reduced because of covid situation prevalent in the whole country that is the common policy issued by the government of india then it is there. otherwise you know otherwise no nobody can be government of india finance ministry is issuing order then it is okay same way tds election gst everything the commissioner is not having not having any power he duty is to implement the government decision that's all okay so that is the thing now nature of public administration the whatever is there further more that is okay now what is welfare state welfare state is a form of government in which the state protects and promotes the economic and social well-being of the citizens based upon the principle of equal opportunity equitable distribution of wealth and public responsibility for citizens unable to avail themselves of the minimal pro provisions for a good life modern state is a distinctive combination of democracy welfare and capitalism you understand what welfare state welfare state it is a form of government in which the state protects and promotes the economic and social well-being of the citizen based upon the principles of equal opportunity equitable distribution of wealth and public responsibility for citizen okay unable to avail themselves of the minimal provisions for a good life okay this is welfare state now next is okay post the call you know this uh, bullock in management scope of public administration as a discipline post call planning organizing okay staffing directing coordinating reporting budgeting these are all required in management okay so bullock sums up the scope this is separate 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 unit planning is a separate unit staffing is separate unit and see uh, i don't know whether it is there or not i don't know i am just telling you from my uh, knowledge i am just telling you and staffing is don't think the staffing is easy thing staffing is selection selection is recruitment recruitment is internal external okay and uh, recruitment is negative and uh, sorry the recruitment is positive and staffing uh, selection is negative this type of things are the, that i will tell you later on so then direction should be there without direction in the management you know with a proper direction uh, you will there is no direction there is no supervision what will happen so then coordination should be there you have to get the uh, cooperation from each and everybody coordination should be there then reporting should be there what have you had done you had you had to report to the management you know what you had done and suppose how much revenue generated how many recruitment you made how much what are the activities you have done what are the products you made whatever you know exported domestic or export or whatever is the the data you have to give to the management that is card reporting budgeting budget of course uh, yearly budget will be there according to the budget only you have to spend the money more than that special approval is required from the board of directors whatever budget is there within that budget you can function beyond the budget you know for the specific approval is to be obtained whether it is state government or central government whatever it is you they have to take the you know in state and central you know what what will happen budget is finally approved in a state by the governor central government by the president if you are crossing that then you have to you know special approval is to be obtained for this specifying reason for you know incurring that much expenditure again our financial matters where the governor or uh, president of india has to approve that any financial bill everything has to be approved by the president of india there and here the governor 
okay, with the recommendation of the chief minister or prime minister in the center, okay. Post the call, so management it is required now. Organization, I already told, I don't want to elaborate. Staffing means, remember, recruitment and training. Recruit, that separate, I think it is coming. Otherwise, you know, staffing is different. Recruitment, uh, recruitment is, say, recruitment is external and internal. Staffing is administering various tester. That is, if you want to know uh, more, I can also tell you. Recruitment is... Uh, Just in a very simple way, I will, tell you. I will not elaborate because of lack of time. Okay. See. Okay. See. Recruitment. Just remember, I will not elaborate the thing. I think, I don't know whether it is coming later on. See, there is internal, there is external recruitment. Internal means transfer, promotion. And then, uh, recruitment of ex-employees. Laid off, present employees, deputation, everything, you know, uh, we are filling the vacancy through internal sources. Okay. Then another external is recruitment at factory gate, casual callers, advertisements, employment agencies, management consultants, educational institutions, recommendations, labor contractors, telecasting. Okay. If you need more information at that time, I will tell you later on. There is a difference between recruitment and selection. One is positive, one is negative. Recruitment uh, uh, means process of searching candidate. That is recruitment. Anybody can apply. That is positive thing. But selection after undergoing uh, rigorous test. Okay. Then like that, you know, uh, there is a difference between recruitment and selection. More I think uh, next chapter it is coming. Now, in selection, there are certain procedures. One is preliminary interview with the next to receiving application. Third, screening of application. Then employment test is there. Employment interview is there. Physical examination is there. Checking references are there. Final selection is there. So, while administering test, there are intelligent tests. There is aptitude test. There is trade or proficiency test. Interest test. Personality test, achievement test, essay and objective type of test, business game, leaderless group, physics, so many things are there, like that test is also depend upon the vacancy, whatever this thing, intelligent uh, quotient, and many things are there. So many tests are there, you have to depend upon the post and other thing, you have to undergo that and afterwards uh, this thing selection will be made. And there are so many procedures. Now, so direct direction mean that mean taking decisions in the management, issuing model and instruction. That is direction. Number three, coordinating. Number four, coordinating means interrelating the work. Coordinating means interrelating. Various department is there, and we have to coordinate the works because you know there is finance, there is um, uh, marketing, there is production, there is quality assurance, there is quality control. There is, you know, HR, so many other departments. We have to coordinate the activities. Next, reporting means, I already told you, on monthly basis, we have to give the main, you know, achievement of particular department to the management. That is called MIS, Management Information System. Finance will give, finance department will give, inflow of funds, outflow of funds, how much salary we paid, how much tax we paid, how many, how much depo deposit is there? Cash in hand, uh, cash at bank, you know, whatever is there, you know. Uh, so many things, how many banks, you know, we are having, so many details we will give to the, now the same way. Uh, you know, HR, how many people were recruited? How many people retired? How many people, uh, you know, uh, either transferred? You know, like that, like that details we do. Production. How, how much quality uh, the thing production uh, target to work, how much we achieved, what will be the future, this thing, activities or whatever is there, and everything. The quality control, every oil marketing, whether it is domestic, whether it is international, uh, you know, export or whatever is there, marketing also will give details. So this is called reporting. Okay. Next, budgeting, I already told you. Budget only, once, uh, once in a year, their budget is uh, prepared. Budget has to be approved before 31st of March. Then only you can spend one rupee from 
even central government also state government also okay central government also state government also budget has to be approved before 31st march failing which you cannot spend 1 rupee from treasury with the from 1st april okay so budget same way uh, our pri private organization also financial year will be most probably it will be april to march but some organization it is different actually cooperative societies and other things very different but otherwise government uh, this thing is april to march okay so before march the budget is to be approved not presented it is to be approved then only you can spend money from 1st april onwards the budget is over subject matter all the core i told okay now mm, what is that uh, post the core no uh, administration and private administration okay now private public administration is bureaucratic where a private administration is business like but see public you know that the bureaucratic way uh, public, public administration is doing you know you, you know very well you know but uh, where a private administration they run like a business organization they want result okay they no private company will function for ingering law okay so maybe for few months it will be lost but afterwards they will recoup otherwise the company will close okay but government department will not close okay now public administration is political whereas private administration non political public administration is political and uh, uh, now see whether the public who or is ruling suppose government you know central government it is ruled by bjp government so it is political politically it is bjp here it is cpm okay but bureaucracy everybody is working under them actually so public administration is political okay different different states but uh, in tamil nadu it is dmk uh, like that you know telangana it is uh, telugu uh, system what is that uh, desham party uh, andhra pradesh is different bihar is something uh, orissa is something okay so uh, department it is a political thing private administration non political private is not at a concern with the politics they want money do you think that uh, mukesh ambani or adani gidani they they are bothered about any politics or something like, like that they want to they spend the money they to they want to make profit out of it that is the thing that is their motive that is the administration okay they will you see if they see you take the example of anil ambani he found that you know the telecommunication sector or something you know he was ingering loss he closed that all uh, anil ambani anu anil dhirubhai am what is that tele telecom that was close clients uh, this thing you know it was close so they will not uh, function like that you know they commercial way they do but they are, don't think that they are providing employment and uh, taking care of uh, many other things also they have got schools hospital many other things are also also there now another thing yes four principles differentiate public from private administration okay ah uh, acha before that one more thing i i want to tell you public administration is political where private administration is non political public administration is characterized by red tape where private administration is free from it or window namade mukhyamantri paribrasham parantha ella ee file kudungi idorada jeevidana red tape adayathu adim oru oru file oru oru jeevidana ennu parannu ormayundo appo red tape bureaucrat but private la angana oru red tape onnu illa mentale action okay nammal adanthichu joli cheyanam kadina adhwanam cheyanam mentale private le can get very good salary also and but your work is measured okay task is given you take good that now according to sir joseph stamp four principles with the differentiate public from private administration which differentiate public from private administration is principle of uniformity that is 
പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷനിലെ കോമൺ ലോ ആണ് യൂണിഫോം ലോ ആണ് റെഗുലേഷൻ ലോ ആണ് സെയിം ആണ് ഗവൺമെന്റിലെ ലോസ് എല്ലാം അപ്പൊ നിങ്ങൾ പ്രൊവിഡം ഫണ്ട് ലോ സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെന്റിലും സെയിം സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റിലും സെയിം ഡിഡക്ഷൻ ഈ സെയിം പെർമിറ്റൽ ഡേറ്റ് ഈ സെയിം പ്രൊഫഷണൽ ടാഗ് സെൻട്രൽ ഗവൺമെന്റ് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് വാട്ടർ ഈസ് ദർ യുനോ ഇൻകൺ ടാഗ് എവറിവേർ സെയിം 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 കോമൺ ലോ ഓക്കെ നോ ആണ് ബട്ട് പ്രൈവറ്റിന് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നോട്ട് അപ്ലിക്കബിൾ no another thing principle of external financial control representatives of the people through a legislative body control government revenues and see there is an external control see government if they spend the money there is an external control by the assembly a question will be asked you have to give the answer where the money has gone you know very well what is happening you know either in the parliament or in the state assembly question will be asked we should be very very careful while spending money uh, whatever it is okay then another thing principle of ministerial minister each minister has got a certain responsibility and uh, they are responsible to the legislative assembly as well as the parliament they have to give the answer for that okay question will be asked by the members to the minister okay so minister has to give the reply there will be starred and starred okay then principle of margin return so main object government le return on undavilla spending and all there is receipt and payment you know but say private la thella trial balance is to be prepared profit and loss account is to be prepared balance sheet is to be government and the balance sheet there is no profit government is not functioning for making profit you know government is for serving the society rendering service to the citizen okay that is the thing now uh, political character of public see public administration political character unda kedo adu kaaram endu chennu i don't want to tell you that you know part of policy they are formulating it is connected with the politics only okay isn't it okay nobody knows what are the rules actually we are totally confused actually sometimes you know this rule that is the reason why i don't want to elaborate because it is a recorded message actually so i am just telling you one i am quoting chief justice mr ramana last week what he told why you are creating laws when you are not able to implement it we don't know what to do without any debate in the parliament and the legislative assembly laws are made for whom you are making the law for what purpose there is no clarity there is one, there is no discussion taking place with the stakeholder finally with the grievances they are approaching the court we are unable to settle because clarity is not there in the law passed by the legislative assembly as well as the parliament so thorough debate with the stakeholders it is required and the rules are crystal clear rules should be there so that it will be easy for the judiciary to take a decision otherwise it will be there for remain in the court for several several years and they will not be able to solve because they don't have clear cut rules okay so public political character is there any many you know that you know many 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 uh, here also so many uh, we state government also many things are there in political character only sometimes you know they are offering incentives and the onathinte thale desam da pidicho kitte adhe mari bonus adhe ithe ithe you know so many things are there okay it is good for the people that is no problem at all it is good for the but somebody was getting double uh, this thing you know uh, i don't want to tell that you know for taking the citizen for granted tax pays money should not be utilized either by the state government or the central government it has to be utilized for the developmental activities of the nation that is the thing which i want to come not for um, for silly ground you know some some something to please somebody the beautiful recommendation which uh, administrative reform commission headed by our uh, this man our uh, mohanda yesterday made was i know 100% it will not be implemented reducing the number of public service and co- service commission members 2 lakhs 
more than two lakhs. Everybody is getting salary and a six years tenure, and afterwards till end of their life they are getting pension. Remember, and Kerala is the only state which is having nearly 2022 PSC members. Big state like Andhra Pradesh, sorry, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra is having only five, three, two, six. Maximum six. Uttar Pradesh is having six. Largest state in India. Once upon 85 parliamentary constituency was there. And that state is having only six. I think five or six. Maharashtra is having five or six. Three, four, something. Nobody is having more than six. But we are having 22. And we are a small state. So, and we have to pay this much salary to them. And we have to pay... Uh, a six year we and car everything you know we have to give and a pension also we have to give till end of their life. The tragic thing is that they don't have any basic qualification. They are selecting the PSC members who are highly qualified. Please don't take it otherwise. Eh? I am not criticizing those who are appearing for PSC. They are highly qualified people. They are either master degree. They are so low people. Their professional degrees, everything, and this type of some people with lesser less qualification, the members are taking interview. Now think over it, whether I am telling correct or not. On you know party basis, you know party means over you know the this thing alliance. Each one party, one MLA is sponsoring one PSA member. Just imagine. So. And his salary will pay taxpayer from my pocket, your pocket. So it has to be reduced, bring down at least, so that some relief will be there. It is a beautiful recommendation, but it will not be implemented. Okay, take it from me because you know we want, we want to please everybody. You know, all government. I am talking about all government. It is a good suggestion because nowhere in India, a commission ground. I told you, you know. Compassion and grand appointment is there. Not like this. Both we say a compensation. No. Only one compensation. One person should get. That is the thing. Which I want to. I am not against any policy. I am just telling because I have handled this many, many years. So in our organization, Government of India. So there, uh, nowhere it is. The Mohandas was telling. He was a shipping secretary, bureaucrat. And uh, all over India, he... Uh, work he was also telling me over in India like this compassion ground appointment is going, taking place. Okay. It is not taken to the person who is uh, you know, affected. They should. Now, another thing is that government administration, public scrutiny will be the private there is no public scrutiny. Whatever government is doing, you know very well. Always, you know, media is there. Everybody, public scrutiny is there. Public administration. Okay. Now, there is political direction. In government, uh, there is no profit motive. And please uh, remember, prestige. Administration means, public administration means the status. The administration should be, it is a prestigious government, actually. The effective administration has to take place. Result. And whenever the leader is telling it is obey. And, uh, you know, people should be happy. And uh, all grievances are to be redressed as early as possible. People should be happy. Irrespective of any party affiliations or whatever is there, in front of us, all our citizens, bona fide citizens, right? Then, service and cost. That is, you know, government will spend more money than the income. Government spend more money than income. Revenue, see, revenue receipt is very less, but expenditure is more in the government. Pension and salary, okay? Legal framework. See, public administration operate within the legal. Public administration has to function within the law, rule. They cannot cross the jurisdiction. They don't have power. Even one rupee. They don't have power. Even whatever allocation is made, by, uh, a delegation is given only that much. Not one rupee extra. Okay. So they have to function according to that. Okay. Now, consistency. Government consistency is there, you know. Who are come? Which are, you know, whether it is that government or whether it is this government, whether it is this secretary or that secretary, rules are with consistency there. Then, public account accountability is there. I already to no explanation is required. Large scale administration, monopolistic and essential services is there. 
government, you know, national security and uh, public administration, law and order, everything. These are all monopoly essential services uh, that is public service, national security, foreign relations, law and order, MIND, that is controlled by the finance ministry, Reserve Bank of India, MIND, okay, where, you know, coins and you notes know, are made, okay, then currency, everything, you know, that is monopolistic. It is handled by the central government only. That is, what is that? National security, central government, law, government, central government, foreign relations, central government. It is coming under central list, union list. Okay. And national security, yes. And MIND, okay. These are all, state has no power. Okay. Uh, official remains anonymous. See, officials remain anonymous. You are not concerned with who is direct uh, secretary or anything. That is unknown, but who is doing the duty? They will be silent, this thing. They will be sitting and doing the job. Okay. Now, financial metic meticulous. The public administration has to be very careful. Financial matter because it works custodians of people's money. When you spend the money, you should take extra precaution that it is uh, people's money. So you are, remember, even after retirement also, if you violated any law, you will be called. You should not forget that. Even the uh, you know, uh, ISRO is not a good thing. And say, so even if, and remember, when you are in the government, just wait, you know, don't see your watch. Eh? Just let me complete this. See, uh, Bihar State, the last day of Chief Secretary's retirement, last day of his retirement. That day he was to retire and he, he was suspended. When he, due to some reason. So, when suspension, we, terminal benefit you will not get. Tell the matter is settled. So, we should be very careful. Sometimes, 10,000 rupees, if they, somebody takes bribe, nobody, some will not be, but if you take 50 rupees, if any evidence is there, you can, they can take action against you. Evidence. Is there they can take action against you? That is the government, you know, we have to we should be extra careful. So, financial this thing, then one other as aspect which I want to communicate lower level of efficiency. Government delay, efficiency, ev ev okay, government efficiency, atra pora, other number of fortune, number of good run. public and private number delay, number administration, they are playing a vital role. And, uh, you know, public also, government also, everything together they have to work. Then, importance. Importance of public administration as a specialized subject of study. And later, the role and importance of public administration in the modern society. Modern society, we have a role in role and number of the uh, administration. We have strong challenges are many, 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 many. The specialized subject and special number uh, of uh, when handling this type of job, you know, I very careful. I can public interest on public administration, she is not going to let Kaduan, but a polite courtesy, everything should be there. And uh, so, uh, we provided work work with the public administration to turn the changing needs of the time. Public in number uh, uh, depend upon the circumstances, we have to change the attitude, rules, and regulations, everything. Our outdated rules are there, and uh, uh, factory act le parin thende. I namle murki thupa nalla gandala. Apa adu the naadu ba murgan thu video liye nu thera doye. Aine dusty bin le mana thupa nalla pit. Adu mere mana le thedu orna. Angne ke outdated rules are there. We have to remove those things and uh, new new rules are to be uh, reform. Uh, reform is required actually. So public uh, importance of public administration is a very very uh, significant uh, this thing. No. Role of public administration in various phase, facets now, not at below. One, basis of the government, public administration, government in the basis, an instrument for providing service, an or, or a department, and the SEST board, they are providing urban development, urban development, then housing board, constructing houses and other providing that, then instrument for implementing policy, that is the government duty, then stabilizing force in society, government in the stabilizing force on it, okay? Just uh, 10 minutes more, okay? Now, then instrument of social change and economic development. So, economic development in 
നമ്മുടെ ഗവൺമെന്റ് വളരെ അത്യാവശ്യമാണ് എവരിബഡി ഈവൻ ഫോർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് എക്കണോമിക് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് ഫോർ പേഴ്സൺ ഇൻഡിവിജ്വൽസ് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് എവറിങ് ഈസ് ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ വെരി വെരി വൈകൽ ദൻ ടെക്നിക്കൽ ക്യാരക്ടർ ആദർ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് തിങ് ഇസ് ദ മോഡേൺ സൊസൈറ്റി ദ കോണ്ടംബറി മോഡേൺ സൊസൈറ്റി പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ പ്രിസർവേഷൻ ഓഫ് പൊളൈറ്റി മെയിൻ്റനൻസ് ഓഫ് സ്റ്റെബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഓർഡർ ഇൻസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷണൈസേഷൻ ഓഫ് സോഷ്യൽ എക്കണോമിക് ചേഞ്ചസ് ഓക്കെ ദൻ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് ലാർജ് സ്കെയിൽ കമേഴ്സ്യൽ സർവീസസ് എൻഷുറിംഗ് ഗ്രോത്ത് ആൻഡ് എക്കണോമിക് ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ വീക്കർ സെക്ഷൻ ഓഫ് സൊസൈറ്റി അതാണ് നമ്മളെ ശ്രദ്ധിക്കേണ്ടത് വി ടു ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദ വീക്കർ സെക്ഷൻ അതും ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഡ്യൂട്ടിയാണ് ഫോർമേഷൻ ഓഫ് പബ്ലിക് ഒപ്പീനിയൻ വി ടു ഡു ദ സർവേ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ഒപ്പീനിയൻ ഓഫ് ദ ജനറൽ പബ്ലിക് അക്കോർഡിംഗ്ലി വി ടു ഫോർമേറ്റ് ദ പോളിസി ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസിങ് പബ്ലിക് പോളിസി പിന്നെ അങ്ങനെ ഇൻഡസ്ട്രിയൽ റവല്യൂഷൻ ഡെമോക്രാറ്റിക് സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആണ് അത് നമുക്കറിയാവുന്നതാണത് എമർജൻസ് ഓഫ് വെൽഫെയർ സോ ഡെമോക്രാറ്റിക് സൊസൈറ്റി വെൽഫെയർ പ്ലേസ് ഇൻ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ റോൾ ഐ ആൾറെഡി ടോൾ വാട്ട് ഇസ് വെൽഫെയർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ദെൻ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ആൻഡ് ടെക്നോളജിക്കൽ ഡെവലപ്മെന്റ് പേ സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ടെമ്പർ ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് എ ഫണ്ടമെന്റൽ ഡ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യൻ സിറ്റിസൺ ടു ക്രിയേറ്റ് സയൻറ്റിഫിക് ടെമ്പർ സോ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഹാസ് ടു സപ്പോർട്ട് നാഷണൽ ഹാസ് ടു സപ്പോർട്ട് ഓക്കെ എക്കണോമിക് പ്ലാനിങ് ദ റോൾ ഓഫ് പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ അണ്ടർ ലിബറലൈസേഷൻ പ്രൈവറ്റൈസേഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഗ്ലോബലൈസേഷൻ റൂൾ or public uh, you know administration under liberalization private see you know 1991 onwards lot of changes are taking place from uh, you know uh, we are interacting with the various country wto also and uh, liberal these things are of the we can import anything export anything globalization privatization many companies are coming here we are also going there they are investing here we are investing there so lpg that is liberalization privatization and globalization so world has become very small okay now another aspect is that today the role of public administration is towards more of governance so the role has changed now we have to effectively govern remember that we are having independence sovereignty is there democracy is there that is there this is there but whether you are doing your duty properly see ninge ipo nane endu kondana parayunnu vachal ജസ്റ്റ് ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ എത്ര സേഫ് ആണ് എത്ര വളരെ നല്ല നമ്മുടെ ബ്യൂട്ടിഫുൾ വേദർ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ആയിക്കോട്ടെ സെൻട്രൽ ആയിക്കോട്ടെ നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യം ആയിക്കോട്ടെ യു സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ഇസ്രായേൽ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ അഫ്ഗാനിസ്ഥാൻ ജസ്റ്റ് സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹാപ്പനിങ് ഇൻ ഇറാഖ് യു സി വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ എനി ലിബർട്ടി ഓർ വാട്ട് എവർ ഇസ് ദാറ്റ് എനി തിങ് ജസ്റ്റ് മൈക്ക് എ കമ്പാരിസൺ ദർ ആർ ദ ഹ്യൂമൻ ബീങ് ഇന്ന എൻ അഫ്ഗാനിസ്ഥാൻ ദർ ഇസ് എ റൂൾ ദാറ്റ് പത്ത് വയസ്സായതിന് ശേഷം സ്കൂൾ പോരത് പെൺകുട്ടികളും മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അതേമാതിരി ജോലിക്ക് പോകരുത് സ്കൂളിലേക്ക് പോകരുത് നോക്കൂ നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യം നോക്കൂ അപ്പൊ എന്താണ് പറയുന്ന വെച്ചാൽ നമ്മുടെ അവിടെ ഏറ്റവും കൂടുതൽ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻസും എല്ലാം കൊടുക്കുന്നതാണ് നമ്മുടെ അതാണ് ദർ ഇസ് എ ബ്യൂട്ടി ഓഫ് അവർ ഇന്ത്യൻ കോൺസ്റ്റിറ്റ്യൂഷൻ വി ആർ നോട്ട് യു നോ എഫ് യു സിങ് എനിബഡി വി ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ടെല്ലിങ് ദാറ്റ് യു നോ വി ടു പ്രിസേർവ് ദിസ് ടൈപ്പ് ഓഫ് വാല്യൂ സിസ്റ്റം ഇൻ ദ കൺട്രി ആസ് വെൽ ഇൻ ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് ഇൻ ദ സൊസൈറ്റി ആസ് വെൽ മനസ്സിലായില്ലേ അവിടെ നമ്മുടെ ഈക്വിറ്റി ഈക്വാലിറ്റി ഹാസ് ടു ബി മെയിൻറ്റെയിൻ പ്രോപ്പർലി യു നോ ഏതായിക്കോട്ടെ ആരായിക്കോട്ടെ എന്തായിക്കോട്ടെ ഓക്കെ വി ആർ ആൾ ഹ്യൂമൺ ബീങ് ഓക്കെ ടുഡേ ദി റോൾ ഓഫ് പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ ടുവേർഡ്സ് മോർ ഗവേണൻസ് ഡയറക്റ്റ് ഇൻവോൾവ്മെന്റ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഹാസ് ടു ഡയറക്ട്ലി യു നോ കോപ്പറേറ്റീവ് വേ പാർട്ട്ണർഷിപ്പ് വേ റെഗുലേറ്ററി റോൾ ഇസ് ദർ എന്ന ദി ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഹാസ് ടു മേക്ക് പോളിസി ഇൻ കൊളാബറേഷൻ വിത്ത് ദ സ്റ്റേക്ക് ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ഇവിടെ ഒരു കാര്യം പറയട്ടെ ഇന്ന് ഇപ്പൊ നമ്മുടെ പല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഞാൻ പറയുന്നില്ല ചില റൂൾസ് ഉണ്ടാക്കുന്നത് മറ്റുള്ളവരോടുകൂടി ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്തിട്ടല്ല അത് ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല അണേബിൾ ടു ഇംപ്ലിമെന്റ് ഈവൻ വെൻ ദേവർ മേക്കിംഗ് ദർ ലോ ആൾസോ ഈവൻ ഐ മൈ മൈൻഡ് വാസ് ടെല്ലിംഗ് ദേവ് നോട്ട് ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഐ ആം ജസ്റ്റ് ടെല്ലിംഗ് യു നോ ദി പേ കമ്മീഷൻ എവറിങ് ടു റെഡ്യൂസിംഗ് ദ നമ്പർ ഓഫ് ബി എസ് സി മെമ്പർ ദേ വിൽ നോട്ട് ഡു ദാറ്റ് ബി നോ നോ ദേ വിൽ നോട്ട് ബിക്കോസ് ദ ടു you know what it is okay the same way uh, many uh, labor law co- the courts which they amended in the parliament without any discussion either with the trade union leaders or uh, a, a private organization or other stakeholders
policy decision accordingly, which will be accepted by each and everybody in the country, there will not be any problem. Clarity will be there. Other will be, otherwise, opposition will be there. See, for example, you know, I'm just telling you, when insurance, life insurance or something like that, and the brand will pass them to private ACNJR. E life insurance start is in a well, a few uh, crores of Patugodia and the something Anjugodia and the other start is the Ambatanjil and the other thing, 1955. Now it is uh, how many lakhs of crores that has, they are going to privatize. So, what I mean, some many stakeholders will be there. That type of thing should be thoroughly, not only taking decisions is one thing. Hello, whether it is. We can take a decision, no problem at all, whether in the budget you can declare. But you discuss with in the parliament as well as the stakeholders. So privatization of, uh, you know, Calicut Airport or some BPCL or whatever is the stakeholders you discuss and uh, arrive at a decision. We are all human beings. So whatever uh, doubt they are having, you remove it so that it will be easy for you to do the thing the way you want. Okay. Now. Mm, okay, uh, that is the thing. Now, analyzing. Yeah, no, no, another aspect which I want to tell you that uh, many things are doing by the state government, many things the uh, central government is doing, many. Bagi diary system is there. Bagi, everything government cannot do that. Private sector has to do many things, you know. So, you know, there are many, 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 many things, you know, the telecommunication sector, or many other things. You know? But remember, certain things private company cannot do. I told you, mend. Foreign policy, Uttar Bank of India, same way, Army, Navy, Air Force, paramilitary forces. Okay, then many other things. You know, the, the only central, man, central government has got power. And uh, one, uh, one more thing I am just telling you uh, something is in the union list, something is in the private sector, uh, state list. Now, here, one thing I am telling you, set in Bagidari system, that is, Public private participation is required nowadays. State government, central government is not having enough money. So, construction of highways, national airports, and whatever is there. So, public private participation is, should be there. That is, you know, now you can see many airports in Bombay airport, whatever airport, even Kochi metro, everything. Public private participation is required for the progress of the nation to create infrastructure facilities in the country. Okay, then. Another thing, you should not forget the role played by NGOs, okay? That is non-governmental organization, okay? See, for example, after the World War, 1945, what was there, you know? UNO was created. So see, UNO with a specific objective. Then ILO, WTO, IMF, WHO. See, voluntary, non-profit, non loss They are rendering a lot of service to the whole world. Same way here also, lots of. Uh, the NGOs are also uh, functioning. They are helping the society in various ways. So, uh, so this is the thing which I am telling you now here in the proceeding that the importance of public administration discipline as an activity has been discussed. So let me come here here. One, uh, just two minutes more. So administration is public and private. Public is uh, related to the activities carried out by the government. Private management by private enterprises. See, different meaning as a discipline. Public administration is a discipline, vocation, process, and synonymous and word that is Bush administration, Modi administration, whatever administration, you know, by name it is called. Then, administration is a determinant function. Management is an executive function. Organi organization is the machinery through which coordination is established between administration and management. Now, public administration, under public administration, there is government administration, government in the action, social, economic, and political, political, administrative, uh, you know, confluence, you know, that is focused on public bureaucracy. It is also there. Now, another important thing is public administration is an art or science of management as applied to the affairs of state. Then, uh, here, Public administration is concerned with what and how. What is the technical knowledge? How is the technique of management? Each is indispensable form. The synthesis called the administration by E.M.E. Dimmick. 
okay so here uh, public administration is a broad range human requisites of the country public administration has two important aspects one is deciding another is doing things public administration is govern governmental administration concerned with achieving state purposes determined by the state determined by the state okay now here under public administration bureaucrats are there political this thing red tape is there in uh, public administration then private administration business like non politic freedom free from it free from it okay then public administration is political character is there direction and control by polity must be responsive to the polit, uh, public interest popular political process on private uh, private organization profit as the major motive pin uh, another thing is uh, perspective as a cooperative and social activity and public administration no government can exist without administration no government ivide jan onnu kodi kootam onnu no organization also can exist without proper administration no government not only government government requires highly specialized professional and technical services okay then liberalization privatization globalization under lpg liberalization globalization privatization it requires dismantling of a regime of regu regulations how many regulations are there lot of problem you know controls restriction license secrecy and delay sometimes you know lot of delay everything is taking place so bureaucracy has to play an investing friendly responsive transparent open and con competitive role uh, public administration required administrative reform public administration elimination of redundant practices procedures administrative laws and corruption public administration to eradicate corruption and procedures you know, redundant practices unwanted uh, you know practices everything today the role of public administration is to towards more of governmental governance sorry today the role of public administration is to towards more of governance than of direct involvement appo idre oru karyam parayalade nammade public administration le enabling collaborative cooperative partnership regulatory now core areas defense atomic energy law and order idella ഫോറിൻ പോളിസിയിലെ ഡിപ്പെൻഡ് ചെയ്താണ് നമ്മുടെ ഡിഫൻസ് ജസ്റ്റ് ഇമാജിൻ രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് മിനിറ്റ് കൂടി എടുത്തോളൂ ഞാൻ ഇത് റിപ്പീറ്റ് ചെയ്യില്ല വളരെ ശ്രദ്ധാപൂർവ്വം കേട്ടോളൂ ഇത് പുസ്തകത്തിലില്ല ഡിഫ് ഫോർ ഏരിയാസ് ഡി പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷനിലെ ഡിഫൻസ് അറ്റോമിക് എനർജി ലോ ആൻഡ് ഓർഡർ ഇത് ഫോറിൻ പോളിസിയെ അനുസരിച്ചിരിക്കും യു നിങ്ങൾക്ക് യു കനോട്ട് ലോഞ്ച് യുനോ പോക്രാൻ ബാ ബ്ലാസ്റ്റ് ഓർ വാട്ട് എവർ ഇസ് ദർ യു ആർ ടു ഇൻഫോം ദ നീബറിങ് കൺട്രീസ് when you launch a rocket and other things you know whatever is there going moon or whatever is there you have to inform usa many other countries japan neighboring china everything and you have to get the don't think that in a director of vikrambath sarabhai research center or tumba locker can uh, declare launching of this thing with the approval of the prime minister and the cabinet only such land launching and uh, blast nuclear blast or whatever can be done because it is connected with the foreign policy otherwise other country will uh, declare war against the country our country so this should be very careful that you know any director can do anything no these are connected with the, the so atomic energy defense everything okay now telecommunication airline insurance etc is a private sector lo ulladana telecommunication airlines then partnership with the citizen schools സിറ്റിസണോട് കൂടി പാർട്ട്നർഷിപ്പ് നമ്മുടെ ഗവൺമെന്റ് പബ്ലിക് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ സ്കൂള് ഹോസ്പിറ്റൽ സ്കൂൾസ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് പ്രൈവറ്റ് സ്കൂൾസ് ആർ ദോസ്പിറ്റൽസ് ആർ ദെൻ ഇറിഗേഷൻ വാട്ടർ ഇസ് പ്രൈവറ്റ് ആൾസ് ആൻഡ് സിവിക് കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റീസ് ഇലക്ട്രിസിറ്റി ഭാഗ്യധാരി സിസ്റ്റം ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഡൽഹി ഡൽഹി മെനി തിങ്സ് ആർ ഗിവൺ ടു പ്രൈവറ്റ് പാർട്ടീസ് യുനോ ക്ലീനിങ് റോഡ്സ് ആൻഡ് യുനോ സാനിറ്റേഷൻ വാട്ടർ സപ്ലൈ എവറിങ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് കാർഡ് ഭാഗ്യധാരി കോപ്പറേറ്റീവ് ദിസ് തിങ് so that government is not having burden on this okay baki the other system okay now ngos are, i already told you ngos are playing a very very big role then uh, ngos are also doing micro credit, credit environmental protection empowerment of women health scheme 
അവയർനെസ് പ്രോഗ്രാം ഇതെല്ലാം എൻ ജി ഓസ് ചെയ്യുന്നതാണ് ലാസ്റ്റ് രണ്ട് മിനിറ്റ് ഇലക്ടഡ് ലോക്കൽ ഗവൺമെന്റ് സെൽഫ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ലോക്കൽ സെൽഫ് ഗവൺമെന്റ് ഇസ് ആൾസോ ഡൂയിങ് അഡ്മിനിസ്ട്രേഷൻ പഞ്ചായത്ത് മുനിസിപ്പാലിറ്റി മുനിസിപ്പൽ കോർപ്പറേഷൻ സെൽഫ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ്സ് ആർ ആൾസോ ഡൂയിങ് ഗുഡ് ദിസ് തിങ് അതായത് ഓരോരുത്തരെ സഹായിക്കാനുള്ളത് കുടുംബശ്രീ കുടുംബശ്രീ ദർ ഹെൽപ്പിംഗ് ഈച്ച് അറിയണോ കുടുംബശ്രീ ദെൻ റൂൾ ആൻഡ് ക്യാരക്ടർ ഓഫ് പബ്ലിക് the contemporary world the burden of public duty on government has been steadily increasing because government duty is steadily increasing lot of problems are coming for the government you know we have to support uh, climatic condition the you know flood uh, then so many other earthquake or many other things government uh, uh, require lot of help from the citizens and uh, you know innovative ideas should be there so government uh, you know there's any huge amount also okay so we have to see vast land you know uh, having so many states and union territory and progress everywhere we have to develop and for which uh, everybody's combined effort is required public private participation is also very very essential so as a growing field of knowledge and practice public administration has attempted to meet these challenges so the first uh, unity over so you know the importance of this only first unit i am i have discussed today valare effective aitu namukku idu cheyana appo adile highly skilled aayulla aalukalum namukku vidam nalla administration nalla kalivulla undu appo nammada nammada state il undu ella edathu undu valare nalla kalivulla undu appo mini mini issues are coming for the state for the country unexpected developments are taking see nobody expected the covid situation will arrive no country in the world anticipated this so, but it affected the world entire world now also it is happening many many uh, restarting you know many 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 countries like italy and uh, so many other countries so this type of thing unpredictable everything you know situation climate condition uh, you know uttarakhand many other things so nation has got big burden and many things you know it is challenging so state uh, central government the rules are you know very very it is increasing like anything this is a thing which i want to communicate today okay okay thank you sir thank you thank you so much thank you sir thank you bye